So there were at least three requests for advanced Git. So um, I'll cover some Git and hopefully it'll be advanced enough. Um, I just, I don't really think about advanced Git. I just, I have something I need to do, I do it. So I'm not prepared for this. So we're just gonna run some Git commands and break some things and try and work our way through this. Um, <clears throat> first I have a uh, totally irrelevant tip. If you're on a Mac, and you don't want the screen to go to sleep, caffeinate-d and just background that. All right. Um, can everyone read this text? Maybe not the blue. Now? Better? Good. Okay. So uh, let's pick, let's actually make a new Git project. Uh, get her done. Oops. Okay. Uh, da, da, da. Right, AL. Cool. Super close. Yeah, okay, I've never nuts. Um, does anyone? Before I, before I just go, go, go totally off the wall, does anyone have a thing that they want to do or failed to do or want me to talk about? Or should I just start rambling? Okay, I heard rebase. So let's, let's, let's do the most basic of rebases. We're gonna make a, um, make a readme. And we're going to commit that. Addy. Just add it. Cool. We now have. I hate this keyboard. Okay, I've already discovered one thing I want to change here. So I'm going to do that first. I'm going to just use my bash history because I put the wrong email on this commit. So I'm going to amend this commit, except I don't want to change the commit message, so I'm not going to edit it, but I'm going to set the author. So now the commit has a different author. So we're gonna check out a branch. Um, let me use the whole command. Um, as if, because I'm real creative. I get too used to my shortcuts here. All right. So yeah, we'll I'll talk about aliases in a minute here. So we've got a diff here. I'm gonna add that. I never add all. Okay. Add that. Okay, so I'm, I ha now have two commits. And I'm going to check out master again. And get diff. Cool. Um, should I make a new commit? Or maybe I can just force push to master. Who wants me to force push to master? Yeah, rebels. Um, get. How does this? Hang on. Let's talk about a lists because I've forgotten how to do this. Cool. This is the section we're looking at a lists. Um, the one I use a lot is Kane. 
Git commit amend no edit. Um, my previous commit wasn't good enough. Let's change it. Except the commit message was fine, so I'm not going to edit it. No edit's kind of a misnomer. It really means don't change the commit message. You can change the diff um, and the author and all the metadata, but not the commit message. Um, and then the other one, which I won't show because I'm not online, but is uh, <clears throat> shove, which is push force, because I push force a lot. Always to my branch, never to master. <laughs> However, okay, so where are we? We have added this, but now we're going to we're going to git commit and no edit. Cool. So according to master, we have this one commit, and the other one just doesn't exist anymore. It does actually exist if you can remember the SHA, you can go get it back until you garbage collect, in which case it's gone now. Um, so anyways, I'm going to show you my branches. Yeah. Ref log is referring here too. Yeah. Um, get, see here's another alias, get branch all both. Anyways, I'm gonna, I have no remote, so it looks funny. I'm used to blue text. Um, I'm gonna get checkout as diff. Okay, um, yeah, there should be, a, what, what's the word I'm looking for? There should be a conflict here when I rebase. You're always, what? Okay, so rebase basically says, let me draw some. We can take a bet as to whether this pen works. <laughs> so I had commit A on master. This was hello. And master pointed here. This is master. And then I made commit B, um, which actually has no parent, I just overwrote B and master points here, and then I got rid of all of this. The commit where I put some text in the readme, and we'll call that C, had a parent, it was master, it was A. What we want to do is we want to just move, this was as diff. We want to move this pointer, that's all we're doing. We're taking a change set, which is a diff or a patch, I took this line out, I added this line. And we're applying the change set here. So what, all we're doing is changing parents. Uh, every commit has, has three things in it. It has a change set, which is the diff. It has a parent, which is the commit it was based on. And then it has metadata of the author and such. A rebase only changes parents. White lie, but we'll deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, when I run this rebase, I'm on the as diff status. I'm on as diff. Um, if I do a log, you'll see um, the bottom commit there is um, A on the board. So it still exists in this branch. Um, and commit C or the most recent commit, according to this branch, is based on A. But when we run this rebase on master, you always rebase the current branch from master's the one that the upstream. Um, we're gonna we're gonna repoint C. C's parent will now be B instead of A. And I have a merge conflict. I never read this message. I just look at. We both changed readme, so I'm gonna change this by hand. Okay, which one do I actually want? I probably want this one. That's how it was in master now. Save that. I did add it.
See, it's a learning experience. Okay, so hang on. Log. Rebase. I did add it. Learning experience. Why am I rebasing onto a shaw? Um, so, uh, it's an art. <laughs> it's, an art. It's, an, it's an art that sometimes I just get in, stuck in these total rabbit holes. The interesting part here is I didn't connect to the Wi Fi, so I don't have Google. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, we have rent man pages, and I can spend hours reading them. Uh, Based on itself. Okay, get. We're in conflict. Man, let's see why you guys wanted an advanced topic. Oops. Vim, read me. So I should be. What I thought I did. Ah, uh, you need to skip it because you aren't actually applying any changes. Oh, that makes sense. And then you're gonna have another conflict. This is this is the actual conflict I care about because we'll see. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so that's that's a problem. Usually I added a different file. Um, the diff now, so we know what we want it to, the problem is someone else, the other me, went into master and, and pushed something, and they changed this header. So normally our text would look like, um, I mean, this is what we have, but that's actually not what we want, which is why we're doing manual rebase, getting it at this part. This is the text we want. Now we can add it. Ugh. And now if we the thing to note is both those init repo um, commit shaws are the same, so it's the exact same commit. Let's cherry pick something. Okay. It's the the command's a little weird. So you delete it locally. You just do git dash d or git branch dash d branch name, right. um, and then you push an empty branch upstream. Uh. Um, honestly, just Google um, git rename remote branch, and there's a, a three line gist on GitHub that says exactly how to do this.
Let me. I'm looking in my search history, my bash history. So yeah, that's how you delete a branch. You get push the remote name and then literally no string colon the branch name on the remote. Okay. So you can just. Um, I'm trying to remember what the heck poof of the creds was, but uh, <laughs> deleted for a reason, I guess. <laughs> does it, so does that answer your question? There's like a red colon, right? Yeah. Okay. I should probably turn these lights off. Okay, so we're, now we're going to do a cherry pick. Can I comment on the rebase really quick? Yeah. A recent-ish version of Git lets you do Git add double dash theirs or mine if you just don't care. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think Ruby is pretty old, so it should be on most systems. Uh, okay, so rebasing is really useful. I mean, the classic use case is um, your production or master branch has changed on the remote, and you're behind. You forgot to pull or Things have been merged and you're just catching up. Um, people want to see a cherry pick? Okay, new branch. Could have, saw, could have seen that coming, right? Um, and we're going to make this file. These are terrible commit messages, by the way. Okay. So now we have three branches. As diff core and master. So um, as diff has the readme change, core has the new file. Master has basically nothing in it, but I. But core also, since it was based off as diff, has the README change. I don't want the README change. I just want the file. I named a file called as diff in my core branch. Don't do that. <laughs> um, we're gonna cherry pick, or actually go to master, and we're gonna cherry pick. Um, Quir. Specifically, we're picking the Quir itself refers to whatever the head, the most recent commit to that branch is. So I'm really only going to pick one commit. And that should work. Just like that. Show head. And then we can show, we can show that the commit before that doesn't have what's in as diff. <laughs> okay, that's a little awkward, but yeah, you can show that that show text is not in, or some text is not in master. It's a rebase, that's a cherry pick. I explained. Um, there's a little weird part, and I'm trying to remember. Um, oh, good, I accidentally made an example. You see that bottom commit? We've got an author and a committer, and they're different people. Um, when someone does a rebase for you, um, your, your SHA will change. So it's not your commit. It's your chain set and your metadata, but maybe a different parent. So your SHA will change. The 
author is the person who wrote the chain set, and the committer is the person who maybe did the rebase. Um, and then pretty equals fuller, sounds funny, um, shows you that. And it shows up on GitHub as username plus username. That'll be the committer. It's weird because it'll show up sometimes as username plus exact same username because you can have multiple emails on GitHub. Uh, let's do remotes real quick. I don't have a clock in front of me. But there's a 10 minute. Okay. Uh, there's a question. So there's a lot of debate. <laughs> um, basically, a repo will have uh, some style, and they'll say, you should rebase, or you should merge. And whichever one they say, that's what you should follow. Rebases can be a little cleaner, but merges are more um, historically accurate. Yeah. Yeah, so, so yeah, merge, essentially what it does, if, if you branch off, a merge puts them back together, whereas the rebase will um, rewrite history, basically, pretend that you were up to date when you started. So, yeah, it does look a lot cleaner. But then you have to force, pu force push after that. On that branch. Yeah, you have to force push the branch that, that you have rebased, not the one you based on. Do I have remotes? Okay, so the, here's a repo I actually work on. Um, the blue text is hard to read, but most of those say my username because I have forked this repo. And I just add that as a remote. Where'd it go? Um, named my username. I could, I could call it mine. I could call it whatever. And then also I have a coworker so I can pull his branches. Um, it's a little annoying because our username both start with... Uh, Z. So the the workflow here. Kind of wish I were online, but I'm not. Um, you fork the repo on GitHub. You just click it. You add a remote. Um, you can. It would work like this. You get. So what branch am I on? I'm on. Okay. Check out master, I can check it on a new branch. And then I would do, you know, I'd, I'd, I'd make my commit, or I'd add my files, and I'd commit. And I'd have uh, at least one commit, and then I would push, set up stream, or just you, um, my username, and then normally I call it branch, you. People call it branch name, shortcut, just just call it head because you're on that branch already. And head will refer to the branch you're on. And then every time you push, you'll be pushing to, to your remote because you can't push to whatever open source project that you're not a member of. You're like, I can't push to uh, my coworkers, but I can pull from it. So I can do a get pull. Like that. And the other thing you want to do is include, if you're on a Mac, you need this extra brew prefix. You want to include the bash completion, and it will just type. I can just type R, well, let's find a longer branch name. Just hit tab, you don't have to type all that. 
And then show, log and show are a little different. Log just shows you the top bit. Sh uh, show will also show you the whole diff of what you changed. So I use show a lot, especially when I'm rebasing and I screw it up. <laughs> Um, so you have to refer, so what you can do is you can check out a new branch. Um, you'd have to read the docs, but you can check out a branch that has a name on your computer that's different from master. So you could call it Steve's an idiot master. And it would track his upstream master, but you don't have to call it master. Otherwise you can just refer to it as um, remote name colon master. Did you show get bisect? I, no. <laughs> I don't remember fully, but I think if you try um, to, um, to patch something that has the same name that you have, and it's from someone else, so it'll add their name to the patch. So, so yeah, technically I've got, well, I, I haven't done it here, but my master tracks the upstream master. Um, this is a puppet module, so it tracks puppet's master. Um, so I can pull to it, but I can't push to it. But all of mine, yeah, it, it'll put the, it'll do the colon for you if it thinks it needs it. You can always use the shortest. Everything we do is just shortcuts. If we say head, we really mean head points to the branch we're on points to this entire commit SHA, and the branch actually points to the entire commit SHA. And we can even do things like um, check out this commit. I mean, we'll, we'll get into detached head, which is not fun, but um, we can just refer to it even probably by fewer letters as long as they're unique enough. So if you have a repo that has two commits in it, you can just actually hang on. We can see branch mine. I can probably check out just just might need a minimum length. No, it's from the front. So yeah, I can check out this commit by only four characters. I think that's the minimum because there are no other ones that start that way. Yeah. If you screw up, is there a better option than just doing a hard reset? Or it kind of depends how you screw up. Usually what I do is uh, make a new branch and make that branch not fucked up and then switch to that one. Because if, if you force it any time, even if your branch changed locally, like that one, it doesn't care what it was, it only cares what it is now. So you can force push anything. <laughs> 